Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you three different legendary farming methods that I use starting from the worst to the best, so stick around. So, first up on our list and the absolute worst way of farming legendary stuff is at Wathoga High School, and this is the worst just because you only get armor, it's only combat armor. But uh, you can get armor that you're actually looking for. I was looking for Chameleon, and I eventually got it by playing this uh, event called Monster Mash. Anyways, the object of this is to find a mask, which you'll find uh, by following a waypoint when you get close enough to the mask by exploring the high school. And then you, uh, after putting on the mask, you walk around and you find a bucket of candy, which again, when you get close enough to it, you will have a waypoint showing you exactly where that is. But you keep doing that, and the higher your score, uh, the better the armor is going to be, and uh, you also get a legendary effect on that armor. Um, this is how I got the chameleon armor that I wanted. And uh, that's why this is the worst, just because it's just armor and it's only combat that I know of. Maybe you get something else. You guys can tell me later. Now, with that out of the way, I want to get to my favorite legendary farming method, which I use all the time. And it's how I got all my good weapons, like the two-shot uh, assault rifle. And you'll see that in a second anyways. But uh, yeah, there's four places that we need to go. And not only do I farm legendaries, but this is how I actually farm materials I need to craft, like springs and so on. Sugar Grove is the first stop I make, and it's not only convenient because it has legendaries most of the time, but it also is the best place to find springs, in my opinion, besides farming um, the Yao Guai, of course. But uh, yeah, there just happens to be a legendary outside, but what we're trying to do is get inside where we're going to find most likely a legendary Assaultron or a legendary uh, Colonel Gutsy. Um, something along those lines. Sometimes there's no legendary in here, but that rarely happens, but it does happen. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyways, like I was saying, we want to go inside the building. Son of a bitch. And that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, this door is unlocked from this terminal. You don't have to hack it or anything. Uh, I don't believe you do. You might. I forget. It's been so long. I found this place a long, long time ago. Continuing onward. I need to clear out the first couple rooms. And this is the primary reason why I come here is to farm all this stuff. You can find 35 clipboards, a lot of fans, and 20 pencils, over 20 pencils. Um, they're very small, so you gotta look. But the pencils carry lead, the clipboards contain springs, and the fans contain screws, of course. Sometimes a legendary spawns in this room. But we're hoping for the three-star legendary uh, to spawn as the Assaultron, which I'll show you how to kill in a second. Also, you can find a lot of oil by collecting these bad boys here. We're going to scrap these. Luckily, there's a workbench deeper inside this dungeon. All right, I'm getting a tad bit carried away with collecting all the uh, springs and stuff, but I can't help myself. Those things are highly sought after because it's used for mostly everything. But uh, we come to this section, and there's usually a major gutsy or... A Mr. Gutsy in that room there. Go ahead and kill him. We're gonna unlock this, and I'm gonna show you how we screw over this legendary. Hopefully it spawns in as a legendary. But do not open this door. You open it through this terminal. Don't open it. Leave it shut for now. And what we're gonna do is go to Turret Control and Remote Targeting Restrictions. We're gonna click on that, and that's gonna make the turrets turn on each other and anything that walks in front of the window that we're about to walk in front of. All right. We're close to the legendary now. Hopefully it's a legendary that spawned in this time. Okay, it's a legendary Protectron this time. Usually it's the Soltron that's in there. But let me show you something. There's an invisible barrier right there at that door. None of the robots beyond that door can cross it. Approach and identify See how he turned around? Usually they don't just turn around, but they'll stay right at that barrier, and we can easily kill them from here. See that? He will not cross that threshold. Let's go ahead and kill him. Now these robots, the legendary ones, they explode, so watch out for that. Anytime now. There we go. And that still hurt me. Holy crap. It even destroyed both the turrets. What do we get? Yay, an unyielding trapper leg. It might have something else on it. Okay, it's a one-star legendary item. Remember that legendaries could be up to three stars. That means three different legendary effects. We got dog doo-doo this time. 
that's what you can expect a lot of when you're farming for legendaries. Um, we're not looking for dog doo doo though. We are looking for something awesome. You know, another two shot something. Mm. Don't forget to finish up here. Like I said, you find lots of springs and materials for crafting. And uh, you're going to have to kill these two robots. And if you're over encumbered, you're going to want to gain access to this room without getting messed with. It's usually a turret on that ceiling, but here is the workbench. We can go ahead and scrap all of our items. Next, we're going to Watoga Emergency Services, which is my second most favorite place to uh, farm for legendaries. That's because I also farm for medical supplies here. I'll show you that in a little bit. But anyways, you can make your way into this elevator, go up the elevator. Do not go through that door there. It leads to outside. Uh, I'm always accidentally going out there, but there are those little robot dudes uh, to my right. Just ignore them, walk past them, sneak past them. They won't give you any shit. Uh, they're a waste of time but anyways make your way upstairs and you will encounter either super mutants or just regular ghouls um you want to make your way to the legendary which is on the other side of the trash pile blocking you uh in the hallway but anyways um yeah either a legendary super mutant will spawn here or a legendary windigo but uh, yeah you can see here i got a legendary automatic grenade launcher um which is cool I wish I could have gotten something else, but yeah, like I said, this is my favorite place to uh, farm for medical supplies. Um, somebody posted a video about this, my friend showed me, but uh, with um, Farm Pharma, you can come in here and get unlimited stim packs in right away. But anyways, we are going to the next spot now, which is directly across the street from Watoga Emergency Services, and this place is the um, Watoga Civic Center. Uh, it's also called Watoga Municipal Center. You want to go up the um, fire escape there, and that's how we're going to get through this door on the roof. The bottom door is a little harder to uh, get to the legendary. This is just quicker, I find, but you're going to make your way down these hallways, and uh, you're going to encounter lots and lots of Scorch. Just go ahead and kill them, you know, stay out of their way, or get them out of your way, whatever. But anyways, you're going to make your way to these stairs here, and this is where the Legendary usually is. He always is here, actually. Um, but hopefully you get a three-star Legendary. A lot of times I get just a regular Legendary, and they run away. They're all cowardly and whatever, but uh, that's a pain in the ass. You have to chase them down quickly, too, because they'll disappear once they uh, go out one of the exits. So I got the explosive Tommy gun there, which is awesome. Now, before you leave Watoga, go ahead and check the streets for a legendary robot. There's usually one or two roaming around. Uh, this is easier when you complete the quest, Mayor for a Day. Now that we're done here, we're going to go up north to Windigo Cave. And this place is a cool place to loot. Um, not loot, but uh, farm for legendaries, rather. And uh, I like this place because it has very high enemies. We have Mirelurk Kings, and we also have a Windigo, of course. But uh, this is where I got my two-shot assault rifle, which I love. Oh my god, I love that gun so much. It's so powerful. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we found ourselves a legendary Myler King. Um, and we also found a regular legendary earlier in the tunnel. You can get multiple legendaries here. Sometimes you get zero. Um, it's all luck. And like I said, we can get any kind of crappy armor before we actually get something cool. This last farming method involves launching a nuke. And this isn't actually my personal uh, farming method I invented or anything. Um, people keep launching nukes here. This is actually a nuke I didn't launch myself. Uh, somebody else did this. And people keep doing it. It must be on Reddit or something that this is a good place to farm for legendaries. But you want to set a nuke off here because uh, you have a bunch of ghouls before the nuke. Which means you're going to have a bunch of bloated glowing ones after the nuke goes off. And there are tons here and they keep respawning. And uh, lots of them spawn as legendary. Legendary, just regulars, or three-star legendaries, which is awesome. Uh, you're going to get a lot of junk this way. I haven't found anything that cool yet by doing this, but I bet later on uh, I will. This is probably the best legendary farming method out there, I believe, uh, just because it's endless legendaries. Even after the nuke wears off and everything goes back to normal, you're going to be farming for uh, more legendaries. Um, the glowing ones just keep coming. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's it. Um, this is the best legendary method. I think it's out there, like I said. Uh, you're going to get tons of legendaries. I got nothing but crap. Um, my friend, who was very excited to find any kind of legendary, was 
more than happy to go around, find doggy bags with, uh, you know, people discarding legendaries. You're going to have a bunch of doggy bags all over the streets. But anyways, he's taking all these people's crap. He's like, oh, I weigh a thousand pounds. I'm over encumbered. I'm like, dude, drop that shit. It's all crap. He was naming it off like, dude, I got a wood leg that uh, gives you a stim pack as soon as you're down or some shit. Life-saving wood leg. Or, yeah, just crap. But anyways... Yeah, guys, those are the legendary farming methods of my choice, anyways. Um, like I said, the three in the middle that I do myself, um, I love those just because I'm usually farming for springs or something, and it's like the legendary thing uh, is just secondary. I just happen to kill the legendary and take whatever crap they drop. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, please. It helps and subscribe for future videos i am going to be posting a video on how to launch a nuke solo it's actually easier to launch a nuke solo because there's less robots and stuff uh, but if you and your friends want to know how to launch a nuke this is the video to watch subscribe for those videos and uh yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video